Hey guys, Davin here at brewbits.com. Today I thought I would go through with you a cleaner and steriliser called Shoresan that we sell on our website. Now, Shoresan's a very easy to use cleaner steriliser that's a no rinse and it's made from hydrogen peroxide and sodium carbonate. There we go, almost forgot the sodium carbonate then. So, what happens um, is hydrogen peroxide basically breaks down to oxygen and water and sodium carbonate is sodium carbonate. And the only thing with this is some people do like to rinse it afterwards because it can leave a, a white film um, on things like bottles and stuff like that. So people like to, to rinse it, but you don't have to. So I thought I would go through with you how to use it. So in my bucket down here, the first thing I've got is a jug. And to use this, we mix one teaspoon to one to two liters of warm water. So in we go. I'm just gonna do one teaspoon of warm water. So a quick stir to get it all dissolved in. And you can see it's a little bit milky, but that's normal. Okay, the thing is, once you've made this, you've got an hour to use it because it's now starting to break down into its constituent parts. So what have I got to sterilize? I have got a bottle. Um, I've got spin venator for using on the bottle in a moment. I've got my trial jar with my hydrometer. Uh, what have I got? I've got my bottling wand. I've got a cloth. Oh, we've got a cloth. Uh, spoon, a glass thermometer, a siphon, and of course, a bucket. So the first one I like to do is siphoning through. So a quick suck on the end of the siphon to get it flowing through and we're done. You don't need to let it siphon all the way through as long as the inside of the siphon is wetted, like so. But for now, I'm gonna put it inside my bucket. The thermometer is nice and easy. You could just dip it in like that and you're done. Um, the bottling wand, you can fill it up with some uh, solution. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna pop that in for now. Your spoon, if you're just doing a small one, then you can always just rinse it off like so. But for now, that's going in there. And yeah, let's put the, some more in there like so. Pop the lid on. And obviously you wouldn't do this with anything that's breakable. So then give it a good swish it around and we're done. Now you might see it um, every now and then, you might see bubbles coming up, you might see it bubbling or fizzing. Um, that's because that's the hydrogen peroxide working on um, ooh, things that it's cleaning off. So SteriClean is not just a sterilizer, it's also a cleaner. All those lovely little fizzy bubbles what they're doing is they will help lift off anything like dirt or a chrysum film or any staining, and it helps lift it off and literally get it suspension and gone. Okay, so hydrometer and trial jar, nice and easy way to clean and sterilize that. Literally just pour it in. And for bottles, I like to use the spin venator, or of course, you could just Fill everyone up, Ooh, really slowly, getting water absolutely everywhere. Then a good swish and clean, then empty. But of course, I like to use a spin venator, which is a lot, lot quicker. A couple of squirts like that. And then you're done. So that, oops, pull that away. Is how to clean and sterilize using shore sand. Um, it really, really is that simple. You should ideally leave it to dry. Um, and over that period of time, 
um, the peroxide will do its job fantastically. But as I say, if you want to, because sometimes it will leave a film, you can give it a quick rinse with cold tap water if you so wish. But that's up to you. You know, if you want to leave it the hour for it to fully dry, brilliant. If not, give it a, after 10 minutes of soaking, give it a quick rinse with cold tap water and you're ready to go. To get rid of stains and things like that, you can make up a big bulk load of uh, shore sand, leave it in your bucket or your barrel, and then leave it overnight. And you'll come down the next morning, you'll find it's absolutely brilliant, sparkling clean. But for ease of us, shore sand, very, very easy to use, uh, very quick to use, as you saw. Um, the only bad thing about it, I suppose, is that within one hour, that solution there is useless anyway, because it's broken down its to its constituent parts of water and sodium carbonate. Um, but it is as easy as to use as that. So you can use shore sand for cleaning to get rid of all mucky marks. You can use it as a steriliser so that you're ready for brewing um, and you're ready to go. If you've got any questions, you know what to do down in the comments below um, and I will get back to you. Uh, but for now, have fun cleaning and sterilising with no rinse shore sand.